large and in charge, if you can tell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison. If you are new here, and today I am sharing a home decor haul. So I went a little ham on Target.com and Bed Bath & Beyond's website because one, I went to Target in person hoping for some really good finds, and the Target near me was wiped clean, which is very concerning. I hope that is not the case normally, but I was not successful at the in-store Target. Like literally half of these shelves were empty. So hopefully that was just a fluke. They were getting restocked the next day. I just missed stuff. I don't know, but that was no bueno. And then Bed Bath & Beyond, they actually had a 20% off coupon. And if you are up to date on this channel, we just moved into this house. We are actually right now in the dining room, which is empty of furniture. I just put down a bunch of pillows to absorb the sound because there's a bad echo in here. Sorry if you can still hear it, but it's also the first room you walk into when you get into the house. So it is the easiest place for me to drop all of the packages. So I have been getting lots and lots and lots of boxes over the past three, four days. I actually have some more orders coming in, but those are for clothing, not home decor. So it's a whole different kind of thing. So today I'm going to show you all of my favorite Target and the Beth and Beyond finds that I've recently discovered. I will have them all shared down below if you want to buy anything that I'm showing today. And I'm also going to show you guys while I'm talking about it, where I'm putting it in my house and how I'm decorating with it. So if you are ready to begin this haul, let's start. Okay, the first thing I'm going to cover is this giant box because I think it's full of the most boring things. Like it's not very, very exciting stuff. So we came from a one bath, one bedroom apartment previously, and now we are in a three bed, two and a half bath house. So we have a lot more bathrooms to decorate, a lot more basic necessities to just get for the house to be like a normal functioning house. So first thing I got were two of these bath mats. We have like a really small water closet in our master bath and in the guest bathroom upstairs. And they have this perfect little itty bitty spot. that's like an awkward shape for our current size bath mat. And we didn't have a bath mat for the second bathroom anyway. So these were super cheap from Target. I think they were like $8. They look a little bit cheap, but honestly, no one's really gonna be in that little water closet besides my husband and I. Um, we don't have kids, so no one's in the guest bathroom. So we got two of those just to kind of fill the space and save a little bit of money so because this is definitely one of the cheaper items I purchased at $8 a pop. Next up in bathroom rugs, I actually haven't even opened this. I should have brought scissors. Ow. But I got this really long spa bath mat. It is large and in charge, if you can tell. And I don't know if I want that to go in our master bathroom along our double vanities or the guest bathroom because that also has two vanities. So. We will see where that goes, but it'll be one of the bath mats. Also, the main motivation for getting all of this stuff figured out right when we moved into the house, we've been here now maybe two weeks, three weeks maybe? Just over two weeks, I think. And we already have plans to be hosting one of Christian's brothers. And he's gonna be staying in our guest bedroom, so I kind of wanna pull the guest bedroom together, the guest bathroom together. We have a mattress being delivered next week. We're supposed to pick up our new bed frame this coming weekend. A lot is happening, but that is why a lot of like the bedroom bathroom stuff I wanna get finalized, because we're actually hosting somebody soon. Next thing, but it's a Chip and Joanna Gaines hearth and hand shower curtain. It is white with some little gray stripes at the bottom and a red thread running through it. I recently bought a really cheap white bathroom or a white shower curtain from Amazon. I showed it in my bathroom organization video. I'll share that for you guys to check out here, but I kind of wanted a nicer one and I'm not sure if this will go in our guest or the master. We will find out. You probably saw it when I did the overlay. Okay, next things for the bathroom. Toothbrush holders. These have the words brush written on them. Is a collection from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, I should say. So far, the bath mats and the shower curtain were from Target. These are from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I got Two, we currently have one, but I kind of want one for each sink, so like a his and a hers toothbrush cup. That might be super extra, but I'm super extra. And then I'm gonna put the one that we previously had in the guest bath. So we'll have toothbrush holders for everybody. Back to things from Target, another bathroom item. It's just like the theme. It is a soap pump blown glass, and it's this really pretty dark blue color, and it has kind of like a gold bronze little pump, and I really, really like this guy. I bought some other ones. A little bit of a spoiler alert for later on. I actually have some in that are clear from Target too, and I might exchange them for this kind because I really like it, but I bought this soap pump to go into our guest bathroom. That's down here on the first floor. That door right there, that's our powder bath. So that's where this is going to go, just to bring a little bit of color in there because it is very, very white. The upstairs bathrooms that are like complete bathrooms have dark wood cabinets in there that to give more color to the space, but that bathroom is just white. Okay, last things in the box are all from Bed Bath & Beyond. And the main reason I ordered from them is that they have a great selection for towels and we got a bunch of new towels. The color is rainy day or something. They were super, super inexpensive plus my coupon, but I got six 
hand towels. We went from having two sinks to so now we have seven sinks, so we need a lot more hand towels. And then if you can see, we have the bath towels in there too on the bottom, but lots of towels. Very, very exciting. They also have a little bit of a texture to them. I'm gonna knock out the rest of the Bed Bath & Beyond products and then we'll end with everything else that I got from Target. I got two of these bad boys and they are shoe organizers. These were super, super cheap. They were like $14 before the coupon plus 20% off coupon. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if there's quality to them. They're unfinished wood and people on the reviews were saying they splinter a little bit. Like you get, you get what you pay for. But since we were spending so much money on everything else and we desperately needed some shoe racks, I knew that this was kind of like the right budget choice. And so I have two of these. I think one's gonna go into our closet upstairs and then we have a hall closet down here. And I'm thinking we'll put one in there and then leave our sneakers out here. So these are from Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, let's see if I can do this last one. Another big box is a lamp. So one of my least favorite things about our old apartment was that our living room didn't have great lighting. We had like the overhead light from our fan, but it was super, super bright and just not like a good like vibe. I don't know if that makes sense. I hated using that light. So we'd always just turn on our kitchen light and have that illuminate the living room when it was dark outside. So now that we are here and we have room for things like another floor lamp or for a floor lamp, I picked up this one from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, the reviews were a bit questionable. Um, <laughs> I will give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down after I put it together if I like it or not, but it is basic, it is black, it is overhanging, and it has a beige, super basic lampshade. So I think it should be a success as long as it doesn't fall apart and as long as it makes light, it'll be good in my book. But this was also very inexpensive. I think it was like 50 or $60 and then throw a coupon on it, even cheaper. I'm also sweating. I put on a sweater because it was pretty cool today, but I think all these lights being on, getting a little bit toasty. Okay, things from Target now. This was the other um, soap dispenser set that I talked about earlier. For comparison, this one is much smaller. This guy sold for $10 and this set for the two of them plus the tray was 20, so they're kind of the same price. They also have this in a couple other colors to keep in mind. They have an amber, they have a clear, another one. I don't know, I'm a big fan of that guy. The blue looks really, really good. But this is what I got to go upstairs in our bathroom. Because I'm very symmetrical, we have a double vanity, thankfully, here. And I like the idea of my husband and I each having our own soap dispenser and our own toothbrush cup off to the side so like we don't have a lot of clutter on top of the vanity. So I think it would be nice like on each side of the vanity to have like this little set. It'll be very cute, very minimal. The soap pumps are a little large, but I also could use these by our kitchen sink or we have a sink in our laundry room or there's, there's plenty of places I could use these pumps if I don't like them in the master bath, but I think I will like them in there. And to go with all of these soap pumps, I picked up one of these reusable, not reusable, refillable soap pump bags. The Everspring line is like Target's cleaning brand and this is in the scent of lavender and bergamot and I haven't smelled it. I'll give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down on if I like the smell of it, but basically you twist a little cap off and then you can just refill these guys. Instead of having to buy like a normal like soap pump and then just pour that and then waste all the packaging, you can just buy one of these guys, keep it in your cabinet, and then whenever you run out of soap, you just refill this guy. Okay, we have five more things, I believe. Let's get the boring one out of the way. I needed a new toilet wand. These are my favorite from Clorox for cleaning toilets. I don't like the idea of like getting toilet bowl cleaner and then reusing the same scrubby thing. That just kind of grosses me out. And now that we have three bathrooms or two and a half bathrooms, I wanted to have at least one more of these guys and it comes with a little refill set. So this will be great for one of the bathrooms. Very exciting. If you're really into cleaning products, by the way, I just shared a Grove collaborative haul that is all the products I ordered online from Grove. It's a lot of the same things sold at Target, but I just like to buy from Grove sometimes. It can be kind of exciting. I don't know, they have fun exclusive scents and whatnot. So if that's your thing, I will show that video here for you guys. But back on topic, still in the bathroom guys. I got some little trash cans. I got two of these guys, they're from Opal House and they're a little pricey, but I really like the natural seagrass look. I actually have like three stacking baskets from Ikea that look exactly like this. And I keep most of them in the office. So I might actually put this as my office trash can. I also like that it has a little lid and there's a plastic liner in there too. So we have one and two of those. And the last thing I'm gonna have to stand up to show it to you. The last thing I picked up from Target for our home is this rug set. They actually are sold separately. They're two different doormats in a rug. The bottom one is a jute rug from the Hearth and Hand collection, and then it's in the size two by three. The one on top is just Threshold, like Target's basic home brand, and it is the size one and a half by two and a half. So it overlaps like the perfect amount for a layered look. And we needed a new um, doormat. I have one from Hearth and Hand already as our front doormat, but I don't know if I wanna do the layered one outside or at the front door. We come into our house with the garage, so we don't really see the front door that much, but it would be cute against the front door. I'm not really sure. Also, we need something for the back porch because we're working on getting a dog and I have a feeling we'll be going in and out of there a lot. Actually, I probably need to buy another one 
because the garage probably needs one too. But either way, I'm sure this will be a very cute layered rug look and I'm pretty sure I now want to buy layering rugs for every single doormat in this house. That's kind of the problem with shopping. You start seeing things you like and then like, oh, I have like three different spaces for this. Like the soap pump, she's like, oh, that's really cute. I have three bathrooms. I have to buy three of them. That's kind of the mindset I am in right now. But if you guys have enjoyed this haul, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below. I always pin a question to the top of my video comments so you can engage with me. Engagement really helps my videos and tells YouTube that you guys are really enjoying this content and that my channel is quality for you guys. So if you could do that for me, I would love you forever. Also, make sure you are subscribed and turn the notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Like I said, we are still in the process of buying basic things for this house like trash cans and doormats. And there is a lot of organization, furniture purchases, some DIYs. There's so much more to come in this house and I'm so excited to share all of it with you guys. So please follow along for the journey and catch up on all the moving videos that you might have missed. I have a playlist for that as well. I have a playlist for absolutely everything, but I will share that here for you guys to catch up on and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye.